Hi there, Joan Kosmchuk, your seasonal color, style, and confidence coach. And today we have a little bit of a history lesson. I have studied in the tradition of Suzanne K. Gill, and in her book, uh, Color the Essence of You, Suzanne talks about some of the individuals whose very um, important research and theories around color created the foundation upon which she built her seasonal color analysis theory. And one of these individuals was a artist named Johannes Itten. Now, Johannes wrote uh, an amazing book called The Art of Color. If you haven't read it and you are interested in seasonal color analysis um, as a profession, you really do need to study the work of Johannes. But in his book, um, he shares the sort of story of how he came to develop something he called his color aesthetic theory. So in 1928, Johannes was teaching art students. And keep in mind at that time, people were not getting art in grade school. Uh, they were not uh, being taught art typically in any other place unless they went and studied with an art master. And so Johannes was one of these artists who was teaching others. And he had a group of students who he had taught a good understanding and grasp of the color palette and how to paint and mix paints. And now he wanted to introduce them to something called color harmony. And uh, the, the short version of the story is that he ultimately assigned each of them to paint a combination of colors that would be harmonious uh, with one another. So instead of defining color harmony for them, he first offered them to start to figure out what makes a harmonious color combination. He left them to it, and when he came back, he was totally surprised to discover that each one of them had created a beautiful color harmony, but none of those color harmonies were like the others. And I want to show you just a couple of examples of the student's work because I think it's going to be a really powerful illustration for his theory of aesthetic color. There are several examples in Johannes Itten's book, uh, but I'm going to share just a couple. In this first example, the young woman exhibits pure colors and a large number of clearly distinguished chromas. For her, the fundamental contrast is hue. In this second example, we can see that black is assigned a major role and the pure colors are shot with black. Johannes notes that blue-red is augmented toward violet and the contrast with dull complementary yellow. The strong obscure chord displays a multitude of distinguishable shades which suggest a lively and concentrated personality with very intense feeling. And in this third example, this student emanates a very intense coloration. The floral essay shows a joyous freshness and straightforwardness. But you can see that with each of these examples, there is beautiful harmony of color. So what's really fascinating to me about this is that um, as a personal color consultant, when we look at the faces and the coloring of these individuals, and maybe even if you're not a color consultant, you were able to pick this up, you can see, even though those photos were in black and white, you can kind of tell who had the fair hair and the blue eyes and the light skin and who had the dark hair and maybe the more olive toned skin. You can really pick up on their energy and their personality even in those black and white photos. And when you compare those photos with the color harmony that they painted, you can see that beautiful connection between themselves and the colors they chose. So Johannes said it was their personal aesthetic. It came out of like their personality and their energy to prefer those colors. But he kind of didn't take it as far as 
I would take it, which is to say not only did they paint in the colors they prefer, but they painted in the colors of who they are. And that's really incredible because Suzanne Cagill taught that seasonal color analysis was really a work of art. It was painting the colors of you, creating visual harmony between yourself and your clothing so that you became that work of art. And if you uh, look at my color palette, you can see how my colors harmonize with me, how beautifully they reflect the colors of myself. And so that is what a true color analysis is supposed to do. Now, if you've had one and somebody just put you in a you know pre-mixed paint box, they didn't you know finesse and uh, change the color quality so that it was absolutely specific for you. They didn't change the color saturation. They didn't change um, the contrast levels. They just gave you this paint box and said, oh, you're a spring or you're a summer or you're a fall or you're a winter. Then it's very probable, unless you are like the classic spring, winter or fall, that your palette is close, but it is not close enough because it is not dialed into your personal color harmony. If you have studied color analysis and you have been trained that everybody fits into one of those boxes, then you need to read Johannes Itten's book. You need to read Suzanne Cagle's book. Maybe you want to come and follow me and uh, study with me as well because you have not really yet grasped the deep transformative power of seasonal color analysis. It is about creating visual harmony between yourself and your clothing but also it's not just for how others perceive you it is for how you feel about coming home to yourself i hope you've enjoyed this little step back in history i hope to share more with you in future episodes but in the meantime lots of other videos for you to watch here on my youtube channel you can follow me on facebook on Instagram, or on my website. I have a great blog. I hope to see you there. Thanks again.